Kellen, first off, congrats. We hear it's 350 appearances in all competitions now. Lots uh, of games, yep. That, what's it mean to you to have that on your record? Oh, it's just kind of cool. Um, just a nice moment uh, now that it's you know a decent career. Kind of get to, to look back a little bit. You're trying to hit these milestones um, and look back at the players that I've played with and the lessons I've learned and what I can kind of bring to the next generation. And knowing that is definitely telling that I'm now that other generation. Uh, but it's you know it's nice. When did you find out you were starting? This morning, or this, this sorry, I say this afternoon, about 30 minutes before I got here. So, you, but before you walked in the locker room? Before I walked in, yes, but I, I was leaving to come and it was like, a, hey, by the way, you're in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And that's kind of, you know, that's kind of the story of my career. So, in 350 appearances, how many times do you think you found out that late you were starting? More than you think. Okay. Yeah, I had a few times in New England where I, I had one that, um, you know, I, we make fun of Tommy uh, McNamara for this. Is he got out of his car and had a back spasm. And I was, <laughs> you know, I was at the stadium already. And it's kind of like, all right, Kellen, you're up. What? <laughs> all right. Didn't know I was in the 18 yet. <laughs> Great. <laughs> now I'm starting. Um, so, you know, it's, unfortunately, it's, it's been one of those careers. But also, fortunately enough, I've, you know, they trust me to step in at any time. You saw it in the Champions League final as well. You know, eight minutes in, it's like, Kellen, go ahead. Okay, I'll do it. Uh, so it's it's nice that they have that trust in me. Coming back from last week's game, mm -hmm. what role do you think you played with um, team morale, especially amongst the young guys? Oh, I thought you know we needed we all knew we needed to to have a performance, uh, especially coming back home. And uh, you know, the, the, I guess the role I would play is just maybe calming things down uh, when we're on the ball, maybe in possession, but. Uh, which wasn't great in the second half, so we just gave the ball to Albert and Jao and let them do their thing. Um, but it was it was as much as I could the veteran presence, uh, whether that was seen or not or felt or not, it ended up working. Whether it was my presence or everyone else's presence or Albert's wonder goal and a few great saves uh, from our back line, but it was great to uh, to grind out that win. What was Minnesota doing that was keeping you all from? creating more chances? No, I think they sat in a good block. Um, when we did break their lines, they, they compacted really well. Um, we could have, you know, we're going to look back at it, but we could have had more movement, we could have had more overlapping, we could have, you know, maybe had a little more flair. Who knows? We, you know, it's it's one of those days. Uh, it was a wet, cold day. Uh, ball wasn't moving it like it normally does on this turf. It was a little bit faster. Uh, but they did, you know, they, like I said, they did a good job of closing those gaps. When we did break their lines, they were able to compact uh, very quickly. Are you guys satisfied with this as a step back from that Portland game? Do you think it's like, yes, we're back, is that good? Or is it, there's still more to come? I don't think I'm ever going to be satisfied with the win. Um, I mean, you could look at what we did with Champions League. We were all very happy. Uh, it was an incredible win. It was an incredible uh, you know, tournament for us. We were never satisfied with it. Uh, I don't think we're ever going to be satisfied after a win. We're definitely not going to be satisfied after a loss. So uh, it's nice for us, morale-wise, you know, rest of the season-wise, to make sure that we're not going to uh, you know, make a streak out of losing. That's nice to have. And we we're able to bounce back, even against a tough, tough opponent. Uh, who's obviously doing very well this year and, and you know gave us a little bit different look of sitting back but we're always looking to look forward you go the full 90 Last today for Kellen, uh, how does it feel to get the full 90 in you and how did you feel with the piece of the match uh, towards the end i haven't played a full 90 in many many months so it was very nice to get the full 90 every time that board went up i'm going that's probably me <laughs> uh but you know it was it was really nice uh it's good like i said that that, that faith and that trust uh, in me is, is always nice to have as a player, uh, especially you know coming off a stretch where you're not playing very much. So I'm glad that I was able to do it. I know you're training almost exclusively as a left back, but do you feel like a left back? Not even a little bit. Now I think that you know the generational thing. Like I said that this game always evolves, uh, and you'll start seeing a lot more right-footed guys on the left side, left-footed guys on the right side. Um, you know, I obviously filled in there, and it seems to work uh, on, on many occasions. On some, it doesn't. You know, it is one of those things. Um, but if he tells me, hey, Kellen, I need you to go play nine today. Okay. Okay. Do you think getting in the full 90 one, today yes. was uh, it's more of a statement to make for uh, the future matches to come? No. I mean, it's, it was nice to be able to get full 90. Um, you know, I, I, it's going to be hard to beat a guy like Nuhu out for a starting spot. He's obviously hopefully doing very well in, in his illness and, and whatever comes. And, you know, look, if they need me to play 90 on a, on a midweek game, they need me to play 90 next weekend, they need me to play me, you know, 90 whenever. Yes, sir.